Hey guys, let me ask you this. If you wanted to store a ton of data and archive it for a long time, how would you do it? Would you put it in a big hard drive and just put it on a shelf somewhere and expect it to last? That's not actually the best way. You might be surprised to hear that the best archiving solution is actually tapes. That's right, tapes are still a technology that is used today, specifically referring to these types of drives and tapes called LTO, Linear Tape Open Drives. These tapes are specifically designed for archiving and they can actually hold a ton of data. The most recent generations are LTO5 and LTO6 and these tapes can hold up to 1.5 and 2.5 terabytes respectively. However, you can also compress the data and compressed they can hold 3 and 6 terabytes on a tape. And even more interesting is that these tapes are way cheaper than a hard drive. So take LTO6 for example, you can get one of these tapes for under $100 and do you know how much it would cost to get a 6 terabyte hard drive? I don't even know if they exist. So obviously this is really good for storing a lot of data and it's actually way better for archiving because tapes last way longer than hard drives. You might be surprised to hear that even if you take a hard drive, unplug it and put it on a shelf, it's not going to last very long. It probably won't last 10 years. If you try and boot up after 10 years, it probably is not going to work. So you, all that data is going to be lost. However, a tape will last 15 to up to 30 years. So it's way better for archiving. So you're probably wondering why don't we just use tapes for everything instead of hard drives. Well, here's the thing. Obviously, tapes are linear. You can't have random access. If you want to load a file on a tape, it has to search through and get to that part and then load it and it's all linear. It's not like a hard drive that can access any part of the disk at any one time. So it's going to be slower to read random files. And also the drives, not the tapes themselves, but the drives to read them are extremely expensive, several thousand dollars. Now, this is worth it if you, for example, run a film production studio or something and you're archiving tons of, tons of data and video and you need a lot of storage and you, you need it to last a long time. Tapes are actually significantly cheaper per gigabyte than a hard drive. You might pay twice the amount for a hard drive the same size as a tape. Now for me, it's really not worth it because I would have to pay at least $1,500 for a drive and then $50 for each tape. And honestly, I'm not using up that much storage and I use stuff like Google Drive if I want to archive it. And it's not critical that I retain this data, so it's not that important. But say I started a film company and you know you wanted to keep all that data for some reason, you wanted to store it long term, then tapes are probably a pretty good investment if you're wanting to store hundreds and hundreds of terabytes. I think the most surprising thing to me is I really didn't know these existed and I'm sure you probably haven't either. Did you know that tapes are used to store data? I didn't, I thought tapes, like you think cassette tape and that they're all gone, but nope, they are actually used today and they're actually coming out with new generations all the time. There's gonna be LTO7, LTO8. They don't exist yet, but they will. So let me know what you guys think. If you heard of this, what do you think of these tapes? You know, are, were you surprised that these are probably better for long-term storage than a hard drive? Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.